Dun it, dun it, dun 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 Weebs! The fight is about to begin. Friday night fight! Alright, well, it's about that time. Oh no. Switch over to this live scene. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the world of tomorrow! It just so happens to be SCD Play Games. Today we and have. Right now. Yeah, and right now. In the current times. <laughs> Uh, today we have the uh, Harlequins versus the Custodes. Oh, hello. My map wasn't moving. Matt, do you want to give us a brief, uh, brief uh, overview of your army for those who uh, haven't seen it yet? Oh boy, do I. Um, so this is um, a Dreadhost army, and I think it's pretty typical for a Dreadhost style army. Uh, in that we're more about killing than surviving. Um, so I've got a unit of five bikes with salvo launchers. A unit of five Alaris Terminators with axes. Uh, I've got three Pyrethite Guard, three Sagittarium Guard, and three uh, regular Guard, two shields, one spear. Um, to flesh it out a little bit more, I got some cheap Sisters Prosecutors, and I've got a unit of Venatari. Uh, my characters are a shield captain on a Dawn Eagle jet bike, and he's rocking uh, Hurricane Bolter Superior Creation uh, uh, Warlord trait. Uh, his relic of Terra is the Auric Aquilus, and what else? He's got a Captain Commander trait of Unstoppable Destroyer, so he's got a 3-up invuln, 5-up feel no pain, and he can pile in and pile out of combat uh, with a D3 plus 3 inches. Uh, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, and then regular old Trajan, and uh, Vexilus Praetor. Um, who's, he's got a shield and a Misericordia, and he's rocking the Vexilla Imperius and the All-Seeing Annihilator 10,000 Heroes trait. Um, so he's given an extra attack to anybody within six of them, and also exploding sixes to anybody within six of them. Nice. Um, so he's like a force multiplier. Very good. Um, and that's my army. Cool, cool, cool. Well, across the table we've got the Harlequins. Uh, I've got a pretty interesting build. I've got five uh, Star Weavers filled with a unit of troops each. They're all equipped with uh, fusion pistols and caresses. The caresses are plus two strength, minus two AP. Um, I've got two units of the Skyweaver jet bikes, and I've got two Shadow Seers and a Troop Master. They come with all the regular Harlequin doodads. Um, Shadow Seer 1 or 2 is my Warlord. They've got the minus 6 inch uh, to range and the minus 1 to be wounded. <clears throat> um, Troop Master has... What does Troop Master have? That's a good question. I should probably know that. He's got the Choreographer of War that allows uh, all of the... Thank you. All of uh, the units around him within six inches reroll failed wounds uh in the fight phase so that's nice and uh prince of light which uh damn it sorry itchy eye mm -hmm. it happens <clears throat> uh what was i saying but yeah prince of light allows him to uh everybody to reroll charges within six inches so hmm. terrifying yeah um, so that's basically, oh yeah, I'm the, uh, on the sky, Soaring Spite, Serpent's Blood. Uh, so all of my flying units, or, uh, units that have fly, that have things in them, uh, all pistols get turned into assault weapons, and I ignore the penalty for advancing and shooting assault weapons. Hmm. As long as it's got fly, so I can't do it with the troop, but as long as those troops are on these uh, Star Weavers. I don't care if I advanced and I can shoot my pistol, and I don't care about that negative, so it's real nice. I care about the negative, oh, I but... Know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, what are we playing again? We're playing Vital Intelligence, right. and for secondaries, I've taken uh, engage on all fronts, uh, thin their rank. No, sorry, grind them down. I don't know why that says thin their ranks. Grind them down. There we go. And the mission specific data intercept, where uh, one unit from my army can perform an action at the end of my movement phase. It's completed at the end of my next command phase, uh, and I gain VP equal to the number of objectives that I own. I too so, took data intercept. Um, oh no. I figured, hey. 
you're probably gonna have one unit that just sits on the back and tries to screen you out and uh hopefully i can just do that and uh i took a couple like that one and uh while we stand we fight i'm really worried about because it's not ones mm. that i usually take with this kind of list uh but engage on all fronts that's a harlequin staple you can't play harlequins and not take engage so so tell me about your while we stands who are they so my while we stands are going to be uh my two units of bikes mm. And it's going to be this yellow squad of uh, troops right here. Gotcha. So it's going to be real interesting. Bikes and yellows. Mm -hmm. You want to uh, roll off to see who gets attacked defender? I uh, sure do, yes. Oh, um, blue dice. I need to get free. I have Let's dice. Yellow. Get in the box. I got hey. a four. All right, so you get the um, Sure. Hang on. Let me just finish writing down bikes, bikes, and yellows. Oh, and before we start deployment, um, everything starting inside the um, Star Weavers, mm -hmm. except for the yellow squad. Cool. And I'm doing 2CP for Victor of the Blood Games on my Shield Captain on bike. Um, and in reserve, my Alaris Terminators and my Venatari Custodians. All right. Uh, so, they're down. Um, I'm going to, I guess, defer to you. You decide. Okay. Uh, then I will start by placing down this fella right here. He's going to stick Aha. his nose right in this corner here. Just what I... Both sides are even, you. so I'm really not worried about mm -hmm. which side. It just makes my life easier. <laughs> Sounds cool to me. Yeah, well, you sound cool to me. Yeah, man. You sound like a really cool I dude. sound cool to everybody. I'm a super cool dude. Alright. Biker boys from Terra are down. Alright, uh, I'm gonna place down another Star Weaver right here in this corner. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Praetor is going down. Mm -hmm. Also uh, known as a Prey Prey. I'm gonna let you guess, but uh, another Star Weaver in this exact same location. Oh shit, no way. Uh, you never would have guessed, right? Um, I'm gonna put down uh, my main man, Trajan. I'm gonna let you guess right. to get the next move. Is it gonna be the troops on the ground, not in one of your, um... Nope, it's another Star Weaver. Hmm. I never would have guessed that. I figured you wouldn't, that's why I did it. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm It's all making sense now. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. So, nope, I don't want to do these guys, because that's not the guys I want. These are the guys I want. The one that I want now. <laughs> exactly. Uh, how did you know exactly what I was singing in my head? I think I've known you long enough to know. <laughs> yeah. Grease just has so many good songs. Um... True. That's my uh, guard down. Alright, now I'm gonna place down this unit of this troop. There it is. Troop, there it is. Alright, there's six squad. Uh oh. Okay, they're good. Stop it. Cool. Um, Helios is going down... Right there. Alright, uh... I'm gonna put down Shadow Seer number one. And let me actually double check, uh, so I don't mislead you. Um, over which one's my Warlord. Okay, it is Shadow Seer number one. And is Shadow Seer one the minus one to hit or the minus six inches? Minus one to wound. 
I just want to wound. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Then Pyrithite Guard are yeah. going down right here. Okay. Uh, the Shadow Seer number two. Going right here. Uh, not right there. Right. Right there. Sagittarium Guard are down. All right. Uh, empty boat's gonna go right here. And my sisters are down. That's your last drop. That's it. All right. It's all on you, brah. Get this troop master. Stick this boy right here. And then I got these two bike squads. Back squads. Back squads. Back squads. Sound <laughs> like you said back squatch. <laughs> back squatch. It's like Bigfoot, but big back. It's just a huge back. <laughs> Built like a barn. <laughs> You are. I, I just agreed that you were. Oh, okay. Nope. Cool. And then. Next go Excited. My first batch of um, nameplates for my custodies come in. Oh, snap. Uh, I think um, next week on Monday. Nice. Already. Oh, shit. Do a thing real quick. Yeah, no. Nope. Alright. Don't want that. Alrighty, so let's uh, see who goes first. Mm, so curiosity, not it. Which do you want? Not it, but I'm probably it. Ooh, roll off. Not it. Yes. Got a three. Alright, so <laughs> I actually kind of wanted first. Uh, yeah, you did. Is, so uh, I'm okay with this. I'm red, so let's go. Alright, we're going to start it off with Harlequin's turn one. Alright, so. We can do this. He's just going dance. There's a place where he can get in. There we go. Got all these bikes. Those are scary. Yeah. What's the movement on those box bikes? 14? 14 auto six advance. Can't advance and charge though. Right. But you can't advance and shoot though, right? Uh no, but my oh. guns have twenty-four inches, so okay. um they're less of a melee threat than they are a ranged threat, um, but they are still a pretty good range, uh, melee threat. Right. No. He's just gonna chill. Um, this one will go this way, though. Oh, I 
should have redeployed. I meant to do that. Oh well. Too late. Um. I'm going to. What's it called? Do the uh, data intercept with uh, Yellow Squad. Oh snap! And uh, that means that will finish on my next command phase. Yep. And you gain equal to how many you control when it finishes. Alright, so I'm thinking of. If I do that, you've got. 14 gets you around here. You could touch it and still shoot me. So that's a bad idea. Yeah, and we can definitely charge through that. Right, I'm not super worried about the charge because I got six inches movement and then I can make it where you have a just about a 12 inch charge. Mm hmm. Um, I'm worried about the Melta guns that you have. <laughs> yeah, boy. They're pretty scary. Um, also, more terrifying against all your stuff with fly. Just so you know, instead of one shot, it gets D3. Right. Um, it's not quite as strong, but it's still pretty ouch. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't able to make this one. That sucks. <laughs> I don't think I want to risk the assets this early, so I'm going to go on to Psychic. I'm going to try and cast, uh, what's it called, uh, Webway Dance. Mm -hmm. uh, this gives me a 6 inch Feel No Pain anywhere 9 inches from uh, the Shadow Seer. Goes off on 11. Um, so I have a... Nine inch bubble over here of everything here has uh, feel no pain. Six up. Cool. Um, don't need toilet pathways just yet. I doubt you're within 24 inches of number two. Do I have to be visible, anyways? No? That's nice. Cool. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna go shooting. Um, I can't see that guy. But I don't think I can see without going over that spot right there. Uh, so that's gonna be my shooting. Sounds good. Alright. Give me your morales. It's a lot more reserved than I was expecting from you, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, hmm. I gotta make you come to me. Yeah. Likely story. Let's see. Where I got the goods. Nope. Dang it. Oh, um. Sorry, Press the two I meant to say this, uh, I'm going to give uh, this one over here, um, I'm going to spin the CP and give it a uh, three up and vuln save. But, sounds good. I don't know what's going on with my game. It's uh, being a bit dumb. Alright, third time's a charm. So that's six inches. There we go. Flipped them again. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna advance them. Uh, with three. We're not gonna get in on it. I don't yeah, know I was just curious how close you were. Um, but uh, do them a little bit back. Get that. Uh, then I'm gonna advance my uh, Praetor. Three as well, so he got plenty this of space. Plus one attack, guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm, there. Uh, then I'm going to advance Trajan. 
Oop, he's going less slow. He... So he's speeding. ...had a little bit too much breakfast. Sorry, what? You said he's going less slow. Oh, sorry, less fast. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to advance my Perithite Guard. Everybody advancing up in here. Oh, oh man. They go so real fast. fast. Oh, they're so fast. They go so fast, they don't know it goes so fast. Mm-hmm. And Furious. Don't forget the Furious part. Mm -hmm. Um, then I'm going to advance my Prosecutors. That's your ladies. The sisters, yeah. They're gonna prosecute you. Uh, prosecute me. <gasps> it's gonna be it's gonna be prosecute because they're girls. Oh yeah, they um, have seven inch minutes. Exactly. They fast like a harlequin. Yeah, girl. In I mean and, and they're just regular non superhumans in power armor. I don't know how they go so much faster than I superhumans in power armor. Um no, nah, they're not like battle sisters at all. They um these these chicks they're are the soulless. Wise of the Emperor, though, right? Sort of, in a way. So it's by his will. But they're also soulless. Yeah. I mean you'd have to no go for the Emperor. Oh shit. Ooh, he Shots said fired. it. Then Helios. Yo, 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 He, uh, is gonna advance. He's got, a uh, auto sticks to advance. Mm-hmm. It's like 20, right? Yeah. And the Praetors, too. So that was the backmost one. Uh, then, uh, my Sagittarium Guard are going to do the thing, mm -hmm. the, uh, data intercept action, and... Away we go. Really? Right. I'm a slow army, man. So, beginning of my turn, I control two, so I get five points. Um, oh, in my and? turn, I, uh, I gained two last turn, and Data Intercept, I have two points for that this turn. Um, alright. Interesting. Did not expect all this. So you got 24 inches, right? I was shooting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it like rapid fire or something? It's uh heavy. So you can't advance. It'd be fourteen plus no. twenty four. Is thirty eight. Uh, thirty eight. Yeah, it's a pretty good threat range. Okay. It's basically everything except that far objective. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna advance this fella. to come out of here. Just see him. Might be able to just see him, but I gotta make you work for it. Mm -hmm. That's all right. out a little bit.
And these guys are gonna fly back this way. Kind of, we're gonna do a flying V. We're gonna get all jacked up <laughs> in here. Just gotta see our two's gonna move just a little bit closer just to make sure. Yep. This guy's gonna move here. These guys are gonna jumble up over here. And they're gonna do the data intercept action again. Mm hmm. Carl Toadies. You mean the Custoquins? Custoquins. Beat the Custoquins. <laughs> I'm scared to get out because you can just charge me with all this stuff and. Uh huh. The fear is going to keep you alive though. Right. So you've got 6 inch movement, which brings you to here. And you can charge. So I can give you basically an 11 inch charge before you're able to. 10, 11 inches. I can deal with that and have these guys. Alright, so I'm gonna advance the Star Weaver. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go right here. Where he's just barely touching it. Spend one CP and he's gonna have a three up in bolt. Cool. Till? Till my next turn. Cool. From everything? Yep. Cool. Uh, we're going to try and uh, get off my. Whoop, here we do this. Get off my. Uh... <clears throat> be gone. What Powers? Are so for the 6 up, uh, feel no pain, uh, goes off on a 7. Wait, that's the wrong guy. Goes off on a 7. So I've got this, excuse me, 6 up, feel no pain. Um, I don't need to Twilight Pathways anybody this turn. Um, I'm gonna do Mirror of Minds if I'm within range. I am not. Uh, cool. Um, so I'm gonna go into shooting. Mm hmm. You're out of range. So we're gonna stick everything in the Star Weaver into your guard. Is that where we want it? Yeah, we're gonna go into your guard. Okay. okay. He's only got the, um, Assault three shuriken, right? Yeah, he's got uh, two of them. Two of them, okay. Pretty sure. Now you got me. Mm, no, I'll, I'll deal. Uh, I'm seeing Star Weavers do have two shurikens, so okay. I think you're right. I'm just not finding it on my actual uh, <clears throat> battle scribe thing. Um, I can see it up towards the top of one of them. So we're, oh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely two. It wasn't on the list, but if I pull up the options for it, it's, mm -hmm. it's so weird. No, cool. I'm just trying to gauge whether or not it's worth spending a CP on a strat. Yes, um, it's, it's six shots. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna. Okay. All right, so. Hitting on threes. Yeah. And wounding on threes, looks like. Mm hmm. Yeah, tough five. Oh, wow. Well, that's a lot of ones. Um, so I got two, and these are going through at AP of minus three. Cool. So three up in bones. Dang. We're good. Cool. Um, 
no no range. Cool. Alright, uh go ahead. Um Take your morale. And away we go. Alright. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Mm, I think it was inevitable. Yeah, I mean we need to fight at some point during this game of war. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just hide all day. I'm gonna grab it. Right. No problem. I'm just gonna be I'm killing right you here. dudes. I can probably still hear me, but I can. I'm getting a problem with this. I mean, I don't want to, but I can. Ooh, got him. Rough. Uh <laughs> rough off. It's a pain dog. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to get my beeps. Um Five for that, and one for uh, that. Yeah, I do have uh, another two for uh, engage. Yeah. Um. Looks like you might struggle this game with uh, your engage. Possibly. I'm a little concerned about that, but not overly concerned. Mm-hmm. Where'd the music go? Oh, next song. Pardon the French. Oh, uh, let's see. Guard, it's guard, been a guard. Long week. Uh, these guard are going to advance. Okay. With a five? What? So fast. So fast. So fast, you ain't know how they go so fast. Mm. I really ain't. Actually, I want them to be up faster or further. I gotta keep you boys off the objective. Bit. Um, then the pyrithite guard over here can't really do too much, so they're gonna advance too. Hey ya! With a six, their melt is our assault. Uh oh, now I'm real scared. That was 12.1. Go back 0.1. No, not 0.2. Um, advancing my Vexilis Praetor with a 1. That's a bummer. I'm going to CP reroll that one. With a 2. Come on, Pray Pray. Oh, it. Dang. <laughs> it's alright. He's still safe. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you're going to struggle to kill him even if you catch him. He's got. Some crazy in bones. Uh, Trey Jan, the yeah. man Jan. Most of your army does. Jesus Christ. Yes, we um, are all. This on is difficult terrain right here. I, uh, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can squeeze him through into this, but I'm not too sure how. Nah, he's too wide. He's a he's a, chunky, he's a chunky boy. <laughs> he like he eats said, his weepy. <laughs> like he said he had uh, too much breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Um, prosecutors, we're advanced. Nah, we're just regular walking them. Fast enough. You don't want to advance the prostitutors? Nah, they got bolters, and I don't know if I'm gonna need them yet, but I might. Uh, so I'd rather not advance them and lose their weaponry. Uh, he got a line of sight there too, so. Oh, wait, no, these boys are doing the action, right? No, they're not doing the action. The, the custodian guard over here are gonna do the action. Interesting. Gonna gonna do it and then they're gonna go pew 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 over that so way it, gives me a chance to stop them. it does if like you a, think you can do it <laughs> it's possible um but is it probable um i don't know so i think that's my movement mm -hmm. i'm definitely not gonna get engaged again this turn which kind of sucks but whatevs um Going into my shooting phase, what do we have against these Skyweavers? What's the you what's the deal minus six there? Inches, minus one to wound, oh, minus one to hit. Minus one to hit, minus six inches. All right, we good. Sorry, I forgot. There's one more thing I'm doing in my uh, in my movement phase. I just mm -hmm. need to figure out how much space I got. Six. Are you trying to move through your models? Oh, you're trying to drop something. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. You know it. Um. Yeah, so 3 CP, 
and I'm dropping some beefy boys be over here. They gotta be within six, at least three out of you, so I gotta remember that spot. Don't because I... your models have to be within six. They do, but I only need one guy to be able to make a charge off you. The rest can slow roll through that uh through the woods. Fair enough. So there's the first boy. We got five more or four more coming. So, uh, then my Venatari. I can't forget them, because they're also really super important. So, I'm going to put these guys over here. And I'm going to get engaged. Right? Yeah, boy. Bye. Um... So we'll see. Cool. And still in. Still in. And I'm going to scooch a little back even. Got it. All right. Cool. Now for reals into my shooting phase. Okay. Um, so minus one to hit, minus six inches, minus one to wound. Okay. So what that's telling me is that I need to go balls to the wall here to get shit done. So that's what we're going to do. How many wounds do they have each? Four? Uh, three each. Three each? Oh, and okay. I have the, uh, feel my pain as well. Okay, cool. So then I'm going to um I'm gonna start with my um with my bikes there. And we're going to do archaic munitions and do I wanna do superior patterns on them? Mm, oh wait, not superior fire patterns, uh Blood Games veterans. Yeah, I think I wanna do Blood Games veterans on them too. So two CP, um pew pew. Wait, sorry. I messed that up. Three CP were spent by Trajan's moment shackle. Now it's two CP. So now I'm down to seven. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, Archaeotech munitions and Blood Games veterans were shooting. We're hitting on uh, threes because um, we already had a minus one for moving. Rerolling ones because of Trajan. Reroll that one because of Trajan. Dang. Uh, and then we are strength eight. Uh, so we're wounding on. Yeah, so then we're wounding on, what is that, fours? Wait, oh, tough four. Oh shit, twos. But we have minus one to wound, right? So wounding yeah. on threes. So threes yeah. Rerolling ones because of Trajan. Um, so two at minus four, so whatever your invuln is. Alright, so four up. Alright, so one goes through. How much damage? It does. Whichever one of these is better. Uh, you're not within half. Three. It doesn't matter, it's a stratagem. Oh, okay. Uh, so Sorry, three. That's right. it's, it's okay, that's what Archaeotech Munitions does. Oh, okay. So it gives you Melta without having to be within Melta range, basically? Yep. Alright, I just need to pass one of these and he lives. Yeah! Cool uh, beans. So this boy at the front is going to be down to one. Then I'm going to have these Pyrithite Guard over here shoot into your Star Weaver. Okay, minus one. Uh, so, yeah, they have a minus one because they advance. So, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Well, Roll that two. one. Uh, and then strength eight. Tough five. So, threes, rerolling ones. Reroll that one. Uh, three minus fours. Oh, sorry, minus threes, my bad. Doesn't matter. Uh, Wait, no, they are minus fours. My, uh, sorry, no, three. they are minus fours. We're good. Cool, cool. Then we're going to get into some other jams. The um, prosecutors are all going to tink their stuff off that same ship. Okay. So hitting on uh, fours because we advanced. Wounding on fives. Five, yeah. So we got two wounds, no AP. Three up. Uh, one goes through. Cool beans. Then 
we got our Sagittarium Guard. They're going to shoot their stuff into the same boat. Mm -hmm. uh, hitting on threes, because we have a minus one. Yep. And strength five, so wounding on fours. Mm -hmm. So we got three. These are minus one for two. Three up. Oh no. Um, what left do you have for shooting? Other than um, custodians of let's see. Inventory. My Alaris Terminators and my Venatari. And so this is for two. Um, we'll spend a CP and reroll one of these. Never mind. Cool beans. Alright, so that's four more damage. Down to one. Then the um, the Venatari are going to spend a CP on superior fire patterns to double shoot into the um, Star Weaver over here. Okay. Uh, so they are hitting on threes, and sixes explode, so that explodes, and strength six, so we're wounding on threes. Yep. So we've got uh, six minus twos for two. Fours. Uh, you said for two? Yep. All right, it blows up. That is Beast. the red one. You're like forever away, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beans. Um, then I guess for lack of other targets, the Alaris Terminators are going to shoot into that Star Weaver. Um, so we're going to start with the grenade launchers, which are uh, assault D3s. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So hitting on threes because of the minus one. Rerolling ones because of Trajan, Oof. thankfully. Oof. All right. And these are strength four, so wounding on, what is it, fives? Yeah. So we got two minus threes for one. Two minus threes for one. <clears throat> Alright, so these are on three ups, and I need to save both for them to live. Oh. Um, yep, I can't do anything about it, so that's green. <clears throat> So here's where I decide, because who did you advance with? Everybody except for the Terminators? Mm -hmm. And the uh, bikes. Do I think I can live against the Terminators? Who am I waiting to? Okay. Girlfriend's being sketch. <laughs> so sketch. Um, does it explode? I don't think you're within six, so it doesn't matter. You're not. So I don't think I'm going to be able to take anything, so they're going to pop out over right this way, on the back side. That guy's got to be a scooch in closer, I think. Kind of hard to see with the way the model snap, but yeah, that's cool. Just trying to get them on the back, it's to the back wall. Because I think you have a 9 unless... Yeah. Yeah. I have a um, 3d6 drop the lowest as that's well. Fine. Make you spend the CP for the strat instead of... Mm -hmm. 
Alright, and I've got six, so. Oops, two, two. One dice. Uh, we'll take this guy. beans so i'm going to go into my charge phase spend a cp and those terminators are charging oh, go. It's an eight. what is that five six seven eight is that enough no you need a nine well you need to be within an inch right Wait. that gets me within 0.4 inches no because it's uh Oh, it's nine point something. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna spend a CP and I'm gonna reroll that charge. Eight. Nah, bummer. Uh, cool. I'm gonna charge with my bikes into the same unit. Ooh, the hell happened with them dice? Need a nine on that one too. Mm-hmm. Got a seven. Cool. Then that is my turn. And what do I get? Engage with two. And grind them down for how many points is that worth? Hang on. Uh, yeah, because yeah, you got two. Oh, yeah, it's the end of the turn. No, I go first, right? Uh, three victory points. Cool. Yeah. And over to you. All right, so I control three, so I get ten, but I do not control more, which is unfortunate. Um, I do get my data intercept, and I control three, so that's the thing. Cool, cool. Hmm. All right, so these guys gonna move right over here. I'm gonna advance them two inches, so I get some max of ten, which is plenty to get them there. Take out these custodian guard. Maybe. Troop master's got to be. Because that'll stop you from getting points, which is nice. Uh, so he's got an 11. I'm going to move up the star weaver. This other Star Reaver. That one's purple. Okay. So that one's this one.
Star Reaper's gonna... He's got 16 without advancing. Yeah, I'm not super scared of your Venatari's melee, so if it can survive a turn in melee with you, then I'm alright with that. It's possible. Yeah. With your invulns being what they are, I'd say you got like a probably about a 50-50 chance. Mm -hmm. um, Yellow Squad's gonna do the... Um, what's your jigger again? The thing, that I intercept? Yeah. Mm hmm. This guy's gonna be up here. You've already dropped everything, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So this guy, Weaver, his group is gonna chill over yonder. Try and get off the uh, feel no pain. Uh, does not go off. Um, plan on spending a lot of CP this turn, so I'm not gonna waste that. Um, let's see. So we'll try and go with. Um, what's it called? Fog, mind fog, I believe it's called fog of dreams. Mirror of mind. Sounds like you That's got. Sounds like you got fog mind. <laughs> Mirror of mind. Mind fog. <laughs> Mirror of minds is the what it's called. Uh, so I'm gonna choose a unit within 24. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go with your guard over here. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I just had to get it off first. Okay, it goes off in an eight. I choose them. Mm -hmm. And this one, uh, I roll a d6. We both roll a d6, and if my roll is equal to or higher than yours, then you suffer a mortal wound, and we keep doing that until I fail. Mm hmm. I get it. Okay. You ready? Uh, yeah. Let me. I got a three. Go with the red dice. Got a three, so uh, that's one mortal wound. Oh, I gotta be higher? Yeah, it's, uh, let's see where it is. If the Harlequin player's roll is equal to or higher than their opponent's, the target suffers a mortal wound. Mm -hmm. Alright, so two. It's number two. I got a one. Alright. So one mortal wound. Six up, feel no pain. For mortal wounds. No, he feels it. Um, let's see. Usually it just comes out to be about a smite, but it's one I don't have to target, so it's yeah. nice. I'm gonna put that on this uh, spear guard. All right, um, so that's my psychic. So going into shooting. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Looks like I got a fan in our Discord. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna put the Skyweavers into the guard. So that's five D6 shots. Two, three, four, five. That's a rainbow. Those three, three, two, one. Sorry, I missed. Who's shooting into what now? The Skyweavers are going into your custodian guard. Oh, um, excellent. I'm spending a CP and everything within six inches of my prosecutors, you have a minus one to hit against. Oh wait, that doesn't cover them. Never mind, I'm not spending that CP. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought they were within six, but they're not. They're That's like fine. seven. Um This was just number of shots anyways, so. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, so hitting on threes then. Whoosh. That's a whole lot of tools. Alright, and this is at strength four. To five. So I need fives. Alright, so it's four at minus one. Cool, cool. So, four dice. 
I'm gonna do uh, three of them first, cause uh, oh no, two of them first, cause that guy's got two wounds left. So three ups. So he takes one more. Oop, and he's fine. And he's fine. So he is down to one. All right, and I'm gonna spin the CP, and they're gonna mm -hmm. be doing a uh, fire and fade. Um, so they get to move seven inches back. Hey, thanks, Phoenix. Uh, they can still be seen, but it's not that bad. Well, I'm shooting them now, so you were right. Uh, troop master into the guardian. He's got a uh, plasma. Cuckoo. Or not a plasma fusion. <laughs> of course, the one thing we'll mm -hmm. miss. All right. Uh, so I got the boat right there. The boat? Uh, you mean the um, star weaver? Yeah, everybody just calls it a boat. Gotcha. I don't know why. Because it's, it's a boat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's going to be going into them. It's uh, also fusion pistols. So the one and the two misses. And these are going to be strength eight, so on threes. All right, so four at minus four. Cool, cool. So that first... Four dice, not three. There we go. So that first one is going to be, let me get them off the stage, uh, on the um, spear, so that's going to be four up invul. He did. Okay. And then minus four, so three up on the, sh on the shields. So pass, pass, and fail. How much damage is it again? D6, I choose the best of two. Mm, is what it is. Four damage. Cool. Kills that boy. Uh, actually, not that boy. That boy. Fair enough. The one who was further back. Hmm. So he was like here ish. Sippy sip your beer. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. That's awesome. I need to. Alien Isolation was one of those games that I always. I missed. Like. I do need to play. I need to play more horror games. I, uh, those are really fun to play on stream. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as shooting, I think that's... No, I've got this guy up here into these guys. Six shots. For six. Threes. And then threes. All right, uh, so three at minus one, I believe. Let me double check. And who are they going into? Zero, into your uh, Venetari. So okay, minus, at minus zero. zero? Yeah. Okay, uh, two ups then. We're good. Where are we in this game? Uh, I'm ahead as of now. It's uh, actually bottom of third, top of third, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I've got them concentrated in this area over here and uh, the objectives are pretty scattered about, so we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we more will. Shooting, more shooting. Will and we? <laughs> um, possibly, Jay, but it might be like ten or eleven, so I might be, be I might be out. I'm up for all night, so I'm toast. <laughs> all night, all right. All right, so we're gonna do some charging. Um, mm -hmm. Oh man. You've got a heroic intervention too. Three inches, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, so there's a three inch heroic intervention that they can do like characters, um, but they can also counter charge if That's you right. don't explicitly charge the bikes. Okay. Um, I'm going to charge uh, Star Weaver into this custodian guard alone. Mm -hmm. Go away, orange. Nobody likes orange. Thanos gets in with a seven. Uh, well, a five, I guess, after the minus, but still. <clears throat> um, 
So we are going to also charge in my troop master. I need a three. Yep, that's an eight. He's gonna go in over here. And uh, the troop down here, we're gonna charge your bikes. Mm -hmm. I should check what they need. Uh, four gets me in. But I got a nine. Toggles off. Why is it doing that? Cool. Um, and then charging my Star Weaver into your uh, inventory. Ooh. Mm -hmm. oh, let me do that. What does your CP look like? Four. Four. I got enough. Four is essentially what Custody's 2k lists used to start with. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Can't say much. My space wolf starts at six, so... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna base this guy. And if it, if it wasn't clear, I am basing both of these uh, bikes as well. Oh, that's cool. Just making sure we were on the same page. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to choose my attacks first, and you have enough to interrupt. Not yeah, so I can interrupt twice, just right. so you know. Yeah, I, okay. I know you've got two. Um, I just gotta figure out who I really don't care about. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with the troop first. Cool, cool. Uh, so it's five guys, they got four attacks each, so one, two, three, four, five. Hitting on threes. Okay, they are within range. So they're hitting on threes, they've got strength of five, so they're wounding on uh, fives, I guess? Of six. Um, so five. So yeah. Um, but the troop master lets me reroll everything. So. And what's the strength of those? Five. Oh, sorry. The. Uh, yeah. Ignore me. Ignore me. All right. Uh, so I got eight at minus two for one damage each. Cool, cool. Do, 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 do. Minus twos. Wait, eight is minus two. You said right? Yep. So four ups. Cool. So we fail five of them, and they're one damage each. Yep. So that's gonna kill. Let's say this boy right here, and this boy takes a wound. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do some piling. Tap those guys. Alright, I'm going to spend a CP and interrupt with the uh, custodian guard. As so I he. Suspected. Yes, he's got uh, four attacks hitting on twos, sixes explode, so one explosion. Um, and he is strength five. Oh, sorry, this is going into the troop master. Um, I'm going to spend uh. two CP on. Uh... Oh, wait, no, you already rolled to attack, right? Yes. So never mind. It's too late. Oh, okay. Um, so strength five. Uh, it's a three. Uh, then threes, rerolling ones. Cause of Trajan. 
Is Trajan within range? Oh shit, he might not be. Alright, so that did, did miss then. So then that is, uh, so one of those that put down was a miss. So three wounds, minus three for D3. Alrighty, so it's gonna be four ups. So for D3? Yep. Um, I'll spend a CP to reroll this one. We're good. Cool, cool. Any more interrupts? Over to you. Um, well, I mean, it's your your turn to nominate next. I, I can only interrupt after you do another nomination. Oh, okay. That's nifty. Um, in that case, we'll go ahead and do the Star Weaver. Why not? Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's got three attacks. Oh, look out. <laughs> oh, no. He does hit on threes, though, so that's cool. Dang. Hey, one got through. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Interrupting? Nah. Okay. Let me get to the uh, troop master. Troop master! Alright, so he's got five attack space. Uh, but he also, because of his uh, his weapon, the twilight thing, gets an additional three. Got even the gray parts of the rainbow. But you didn't have this. Uh, he the rainbow. <laughs> the rainbow. <laughs> uh, he hits on a twos. I uh, missed that one. Ha! Uh, missed one. That's it. Um, strength is going to be five. So fours. Top five. And I get to reroll everything. Wow. Okay. Uh, so okay. three at minus three. Two damage each. Three ups. Ooh. We take one. It's two damage. He's got one to go. Alright, uh, and then the uh, Star Weaver's got his attacks. The one down here. Mm -hmm. Three hits. Uh, strength is five, I believe. So fours. Uh, Reroll because of the Troop Master. Alright, so two, no AP. Two ups. We're good. Cool. Alright. Um, cool. I'm gonna do the, um, the Venatari, I guess, uh, first. So they have how many attacks? Uh, three each, so that's gonna be nine, and they got no Misericordia. So, hitting on twos. One miss. And we are strength six, so wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. In the box, though. There you go. Missed three more. So five minus twos for one. Okay. Uh, four ups. Three go through. Nice. That's bad and one. then. For the bikes, I uh, will spend a CP on Avenge the Fallen, um, so they're going to get an extra attack for each model. Uh, each model gains an extra attack for each model lost in this turn. Mm -hmm. um, so those four bikes um, are actually completely covering what we lost with the other bikes. So me, uh, that's going to be five, six attacks each, uh, so 20 attacks. Sorry? Let me do a little math before you start rolling. 20 attacks start, uh, at sixes explode, rerolling uh, on I, one. I was just trying to do a thing. Oh. Um. There's four models and they have four attacks each. No, I, I understand that. I'm, I've got ways to give you minuses, minus one, and I've got ways to, uh, increase their invuln save. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what you're doing. You're looking at a strat. I wasn't clear what you meant when you were saying math. Gotcha. Um. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. I will pile them in as well. Before I get going here. Mm. Just this way. 
Um, no, I don't think it's worth it because you got rerolls. So. Yep. Um, so those sixes explode, and I get to reroll those ones. Mm -hmm. So throwing them in. All right. So everything hit, and then four more. Mm -hmm. And we are strength um, strength six. So wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. Rerolling ones because of Trajan. Yeah. Uh... Absolutely everything. So twenty-four wounds minus three D three each. Um, Pretty close. Yeah. Nine go through, so they're dead. Nice. Then, um, let's see. Island is only three inches. Cool. Um, then I think that's it. That's my attack. Everything. So, spite phase, morale phase. Um, I'm assuming your vertebrators don't have to. They lost. No, two. not not not. No, they only lost one. So it was a five bike unit. Oh, that's right. Because I killed one and a quarter as well. So. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Ready, boo. Um, so then I'm gonna gain ten. Um, not fifteen because I don't own more. And then another three for data intercept. And away we go. Um, and away we go. Erythite Guard is going to advance. So that was seven. Let me see how much he advances with. So he gets another one inch. And key cool there. Saggies are gonna, let's see, tuck themselves back in this away. They all see from there. Yes, they can all see from there. Mm-hmm. All right, then um, Praetor is not going to move yet. Hang on, let me put him back. Alars Terminators are going to move. This guy's got five, and these guys. Oh, sorry, six. Sorry, my bad. Uh, and then these guys have three. Maddie said maybe, but it's going to be late, so he might be going to bed. Um, I said I'm up for all night. Going to go see Disney on ice. That sounds dope. What? Like right now? This very second. I mean, yeah, that'd be, it's a little late for Benji. So, banana, banana. Some of those sisters are gonna chill on the stairs, not flop around on the floor. I'm just surprised how far we've gotten into this game and how little we've killed. I know. Bottom of third, and there's like there's barely anything off the board yet. Right. Um. Let's see what else we got. I think it's time for the Delios to get his self in here. He's got... Delios is the Delios. And that's within 12, so that's cool. And is there anything left in that blue star weaver? No, he dropped everything off over here. Cool. Thought so, just wasn't uh, completely sure. All right. Um, at the end of my move phase, the Sagittarium Guard are going to start the, um, the data intercept action. Okay. Then... To psychic, but yeah, done. Shooting. I almost had you. Almost. Um, I am going to open up with a 
Praetors, I guess. Um, I'm going to spend a CP on Archaeotech Munitions. Um, I've got a minus one to hit and wound, right? Minus one to hit, minus one to wound, uh, minus six inches, which I don't think you're worried about. Nah, it doesn't matter too much to me. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to spend the CP on Archaeotech Munitions. I'm going to try a different version of this gun, which I haven't used before, the um, Black Burst Profile. Uh, so that's Assault D3. Same range? Um, yeah, same range. Uh, and we add one to hit rolls made against flying. So um, Then I will spend two CP to give you another minus one. It's worth it to make you spend those seeps. Um, assault D3. So we got five. That wasn't great. One more hit than if we went with the big profile. Um, so still a minus one. So threes. And um, strength seven. So threes. Uh, oh no, fours, because you're a thing, right? The minus one to wound, yes. that one gets re-rolled. So we got, ooh, dang, that was rough. One minus three. Oh. We're good. Well, cool. Then I'm going to shoot with the Alaris Terminators into that same unit, and only three of them are going to have range. I don't know if that one has Is line of sight, though. Range. 24 inches. Then they don't have anybody in range. Oh yeah, because of minus six. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, then the uh, guard here is going to shoot your troop master with his pistol sword. Bring it. He's stabbing and shooting. Uh, so both hit. Uh, strength four, so threes. Both wound. Um, AP doesn't matter, but D uh, actually, I think it's just one damage. Uh, it's just one damage? Yeah. My mom is 24 inches. That's terrifying. She's really, <laughs> she's really short. I think that means she's really hung. <laughs> um, also really terrifying. Venatari have pistols. They're going to shoot into your Star Weaver. Um, hitting on twos. Sixes no, explode. One. Okay. Hitting on threes. Sixes explode. And that one gets rerolled because of Helios. So that missed, but those two explosions countered that. So. Uh, strength six, so wounding on threes, and that is three wounds against your blue star weaver. Minus two for two. Four. <clears throat> uh, Pretty two. good. He's still alive. Yep. He lives. <laughs> for now. Yeah. All right. What other shooting do I have? Um, Helios. The big Delios. He is going to shoot into this uh, little dude who he can see. Yep. Poking his feet out. Uh, hitting on twos. Uh, no, sorry, hitting on threes. Rerolling once. Because minus one, right? Uh, no. Oh, they don't? Okay. Well, still rerolling uh, them uh, once. Jay, that's in the charge phase, but you're getting close. <laughs> um, so 12 hits, strength four, wounding on threes. Uh, that turned into nine wounds. Uh, no AP. That's too many. Five, yeah, man. Ouch. Almost. Yeah, even if I rerolled any. Damn, that sucks. But it means he can't really right. get any good charges off, so that's fine. Oh, yeah. He's uh, he's definitely lower on options. Um, Alright, then I think that's my shooting. Mm -hmm. Choo. Uh, going into the charge phase next, uh, I'm going to charge these bikes into your troop master okay. and star weaver, I guess. Okay. Um, so let's do it. Seven, barely. Just barely. All right. And then he's gonna swoop around all dramatic like at you. Hey man, that costs inches. Your mom costs inches. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, want to think about her. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, actually, I can just do it like that. They don't need to be up that tight. Uh, then the Alaris Terminators are going to charge the um, same dealio, both of them, Troopmaster and the, and the ship. Okay. So we're going to need a seven. 
that's in the box. With a six. Built it. I don't think we really need them anyway. Um, I'm just curious. I guess... how you're charge just the trick master. Oh, because more juice, I guess. Fair enough. Also, I don't really need to. Um, uh, Helios is going to charge the Star Weaver down here. Yep. Uh, he gets to re he gets to reroll charges anyway. <laughs> he would have. Uh, yeah, he would have. <laughs> And spin around for dramatic flare. Cool. Uh, that is my charging. Mm -hmm. Real quick. So, what in here has yes. obsec? Um, not the sisters, surprisingly. Mhm. Mm um, I'm going to start with the um, bikes, and they're going to put everything into the troop master. As you do. Uh, they are outside of explosion range, but that's cool. Also, we got. Range. Um, so before you roll, mm -hmm. they've got three attacks each or four? Four. Doesn't the banner give them plus one? Yeah, that turns it into five. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. He's got four. You're hitting on twos, anyways. Ah, Your troop master is probably dead. We reroll wounds in a turn in which we've charged as well. Right. I'm just trying to th like, think if mathematically, going... if if he fails two saves, he's probably dead. Oh yeah, because they do multiple damage. So yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, for some reason, I was thinking that. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to rush you, but to talk it through, I I think there's very little chance that that any solo character, no, 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 except absolutely. like a real beefy boy, will. Um, so we don't reroll those ones. But we still get a lot of wounds. Strength six, so we need uh, twos, and we reroll fails. So, boom. That is <laughs> uh, eleven uh, minus threes for D three. Four up, so I can do it. Uh, maybe if you roll really bad. Wait, no, that's, <laughs> that's five. So. No. Yeah, <laughs> he's still dead. Uh, let me double check if I have something on the death. Um, I don't think I do. Go ahead. Okay. Um, then we're going to pile in. Um, and are you going to interrupt? Uh, with my Star Weavers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Helios is going to attack the other Star Weaver down south, uh, hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Oh, Misericordia missed. Uh, strength six, so wounding on threes. So four wounds, minus three for D3. Four ups. Uh, yep, three go through. Roll bad. Oh, and I forgot, sorry. Um, He's gonna do his unstoppable devastation, uh, or sorry, unstoppable destroyer yeah, thing. So D three plus three, so two well, inches. He's at one, so he's, yeah. he that's before one. he attacks, and then when he blows up, yeah, or after he blows up, he gets to do his mortal wounds maybe first. He does not blow up. Okay. I thought you, you then said down um, so I thought you were going after this one because oh that's sorry nah. now. <laughs> um. So then he got another two inch movement, so he's got five inches, then Helios is going to just tuck himself behind these Venatari for safekeeping. Um, and that is all my chargers. Over to you, sir. Uh, so the Star Weaver is going into this guard. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what happened there, but something happened. Alright, so on threes. Whoa, two get through. On fours. One goes through. 
No Two way. ups. Uh, We're good. <laughs> All right. Um, he is going to pile in mm -hmm. like that. Um, when you put them out, they can't be within an inch of a, another model, an enemy model, right? Correct. Okay. Then. All over here. So. Well, I know that. Just then, they're not on the objective directly. Gotcha. Um, so, all right, cool. Then he piles in, and I don't think that puts him back within range. Nah, it doesn't. But that's cool. So he's got three attacks with his sword, hitting on twos. And strength is five, so wounding on fours. One wound, minus three. Cuts through. D3 damage. Three whole damage. Ooh, scary. And um, that sounds like that. Um, what happened this turn? So I gain another three for grind them down, mm -hmm. another two for engage, and over to you. Cool, cool. Huh. All right, so command phase, I get my CP. Nothing else special happens. It's turn four. Oh. Yep. Uh, beginning of the turn, I get my data intercept. I've got two. And I only control two, so do that. That was unfortunate. It's been a real weird game so far. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I'm going to lose them bikes all now, but it is what it is. I really don't want to put my assets out there. Yeah. So it's... it'd be it'd be real real risky, but mm. I think it's risky not to too. I don't know. I'm gonna stop theorizing. I've got a plan. But I don't know how well it's gonna work. All right, so he's out. So get one, two, three. And then the prosecutors. Okay. I think I can do something with that. Alright, so before I get too much in my head, these guys are going to drop out. And then they're going to move six inches because of the terrain. So that's mm -hmm. uh, nine inches that they can move. It's plenty to get them over here. Do I want them over there? Yeah, I want them. I want them right here, actually. No, let it go. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> See, bro. Damn, Gus. Did I not count engage on turn? You didn't get it turn two. Turn two, that's right. Or turn one or two, whichever. Well, turn one. Yeah, no, you're right, it is turn one, or it was turn one. I don't know why I've only got four points put down. 
But same with you, I think you've had engage for three turns at least. I've definitely had it three turns. Wait a minute, what am I thinking? No, it's only the start of the fourth. Yeah, you've had engage for three. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. That makes me feel a little better. Mm hmm. Um. Alright, I'm feeling. Well, you've still got Helios, too. Do I think Helios can take down an entire squad of. Helios and a CP backed Venatari unit probably could. They're little murder, murder machines. But, you know, again, theorizing, they might not be able to do that much damage to those bikes very quickly. You've seen my Melta bikes fail pretty, uh, pretty hard. Right. I'm gonna bring these guys up here. They're gonna advance. They get their armor. Mm -hmm. Six. I don't know if I can get them all. But he can poke his head through, so he can look through. Yeah, okay, so that's everybody's able to see. Oh man. This is dangerous. Playing with fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, right in my charge range. But you gotta get them veeps, man. Problem is my list is like the well not my list the bikes are not very effective against uh, foot soldiers. Yeah, they're they're really designed for vehicles, which are fairly prevalent in the meta. So I, I get I get building them in. Um, I think custodies are just a really good foil for Harlequin sometimes because all your good shit is just not good against super elites. Yeah. Actually, now your troops can be pretty mean. It can be. Um, I don't want to just give you movement. <clears throat> so he's going to fall back there. This is my two bike units and that guy. Shadow Steer is going to move up here. Shadow Steer is going to move up here. Um, do data intercept with yellows which is I mean, it's not been bad this game mm -hmm. yeah it's it's been steady cp or vp sorry mm -hmm. i think it's the biggest earner for both of us um on, on my turn i'm gonna score data intercept for another three so uh i'm not entirely sure about that i think i can get you down to two mm, maybe i think i can get this point back from you just because of i'll have bodies but I'm not a hundred percent on that, so. Yeah, maybe. I'm not convinced, but maybe. Because I know I can get rid of the prosecutor unit. Mm-hmm. They have flamers, right? No, they're bolters. Oh, okay, then I can definitely get in there and get rid of them. The problem's gonna be how many of your bikes I can take out. Mm-hmm. Um that is my movement, it looks like. Alright. So psychic. Uh gonna go for the uh feel no pain. Oh uh, yeah. Need a seven. Get some. Uh does not go Ooh. off. Alright, so we're gonna go for uh mirror of mines. Um so let's see if that goes off on a seven. Goes off on a seven. All right. Um, nice. So now I choose one unit within twenty-four. Oh, I'm really tempted just to take out that custodian. <laughs> um, but now I'm gonna go to your Virtus Praetors. Oh shit! Sorry. Um, who's casting? Let me double check the range because the sisters have a mi minus one. Yeah, seventeen point nine. So you got a minus one on that cast. Okay. Then I'm gonna spend a CP and reroll this one. Um, Sisters doing it for themselves. I actually did something this time. Good for them. Yeah. 
they're really good for their points. Um, they don't do a lot, but I mean, for their points, they can hold something or they can do an action, and that's pretty good. Right. Um, so we're going to start shooting. Uh, the Star Weaver is going to go ahead and go into your Praetors. Uh, Sounds so good. I'm going to... I'm going to spend a CP, and everybody within six inches of the um, sisters gets uh, minus one uh, to hit against okay. them. So everything except the Pyrithite, and then the big boys in the backfield. So this will hit on force. And then wound on force. T6. Uh, so one at minus three. Four up in bone. Failed it. How much? I think it's just one, but let me double check. Okay. Yep, just one. Okie doke. Uh, then that bike's down to two. Alright, then we're going to put my haywire into them. So that's 5d6 shots again. Three, four, five. So many shots. Yeah, it never amounts to anything. All right. Seems dramatic, though. Yeah. So we got that. Force. See. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters, man. Uh, so five go through on fives. One goes through. Uh, minus one for two. Okay. Uh, three up. Failed it. No, for two damage, one. you say? Just one. Oh, for one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then he's down to one. All right, and they're gonna fire and fade. They got seven inches. Got that way. sweet fade. Yeah, boy, you know it. Such a good move. Like, it's real nice. Let me just get Especially it. when you've got that little cubby side. hole to tuck them back in. Right. Um, the troops going to shoot into your Praetors. That sounds uh, good. Six shots. Getting on force. Wounding on threes, strength eight. Alright, so that's three at minus four. Cool. Four ups. Failed two, so you're gonna kill that guy, and what's the damage? D6 plus, or 2d6, the highest. Drop the lowest, yeah. yeah. Uh, so four. Four. Cool. So then that's going to kill that boy. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we're going to shoot my Star Weavers over here into your uh, da, 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 Venatari. Venatari? Mm hmm. Or what am I have? These are D6s. So five. Two, and one, and one. On threes. That's a lot of twos and ones. <laughs> and then on... Uh, what's their tough? Uh, five. On fives. I don't know why I knew that. Two minus one. God, uh, three ups. We failed one. How much damage? Just one. Okay, uh, this guy's got two left. That is unfortunate. Yes, man. Alright. Cool. Alright, so... I'm going to charge my troop into your... to your custodian guard and your prosecutors. Sounds good. I need a... Would be a four, but I can get to here and attack through the wall. So three uh, plus two, that's five. Got an 11. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, 
just realized the second row won't be the text, so we'll do that. Alrighty. Um, yeah, that's not going to be fun. Um, the Star Wars. No, that's dumb. Mm hmm. It will die. Yes. Oh, you still got your little thing, don't you? My what? Sorry. You still got your. Charge. Um, I don't. I don't have that. That costs three CP. I only okay. have two. Cool. Um, but I do have a heroic intervention. If you get any closer, but you don't appear to be doing so. Yeah, that would be silly of me. Would it though? A little bit. <laughs> um. All right. I think I should have gone harder this turn, but it is what it is. So we're just gonna we're gonna throw some attacks at you. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do another thing because it's only that one unit you're attacking with, right? Yep. Cool. So hey, you know that minus one to hit thing that I've been doing? Yeah. That counts in every phase. Mm -hmm. So I'm spending another CP, and you got a minus one to hit against uh, both units. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And then I'm gonna go four of these guys into your prosecutors and two into mm -hmm. your guard. Sounds good. So four times six, that's two, two, <clears throat> three, four, 16 attacks. Hitting on fours. Cost me four, you bastard. Uh, strength five, so winning on threes. And um, fours for the other, for the guard. Well, this is just the prosecutors oh. first. Uh, so oh, okay. six at minus two. Cool. Six and minus two is going to make it a five up. Save three of them. Of course you would. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, and then the other two. Uh, so fours. And then uh, strength five. So fours again. So three at minus two. Cool. Um, so that's going to be uh, three ups. So fail one. Is it worth it? Hmm. Hmm. Nah, it's not worth it. He did. Okay. And then I'm going to pay two CP for the curtain falls. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. That'd be silly. Right. Silly fun. Yeah. It would be fun. Um, but, uh... Let's see. My sisters I, are I gonna... Something. I, I just oh. need to make sure of what I can do. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. You're good. Go ahead. Uh, my sisters are going to attack. They are um, hitting on threes. Ooh, all hit. And they are strength three, so wounding on fours. Uh, one wound, no AP. Oh yeah, shit. And they're going to um, pile in before they do that. Sorry, my bad. Okay, pile in, and then their consolidate is going to squid them in a little closer. Alright, so that's the end of the fight phase. Uh, I'm going to pay c 3 CP. And I'm going to fight with this unit again. Mm -hmm. With the uh, War Dancer strat. Cool. So they're going to pile in. Hey, hey, what's up, Sandwich? Thanks for the lurk. Alright, so it's gonna be 20, so. 3, 4. On fours. This is a lot of ones. And then on threes. Uh, 6 at minus 2. 
Cool, cool. Five ups. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, killed him. Cool. Q. Q. So you've got two in there, so. Yeah. You're gonna grab it, but you're going to die. Oh, I'm aware of that. <laughs> but I'm preventing you from getting six CP that, or VP this next turn, so. That's true. The question is do you pile into the bikes and risk losing some of the troop, or do you ignore them and risk the bikes getting free reign to do whatever they want? I'm gonna let the bikes get free, free reign. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, if I pile into them, you're going to kill at least half the squad. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to make you have to work for it. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to work um, for it. Actually, I cost you 11 BB, because you would have had more. No, you wouldn't have had mm -hmm. more. You wouldn't have had more. No, I wouldn't. But it's still six, and that's, that's mm -hmm. substantial, so... So, pass it over when you're ready. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. do the Praetors have to do a morale? Minus two? Uh, let me see. I don't think so. So, an 8, no. So, uh, sisters do, they have an 8. Um, sisters are dead. Oh shit, that's right. I thought I had two left, I forgot you attacked again. Cool. Then, over to me. Yes, sir. Boom, I gain 10 plus 2 on data intercept. And, we are going to do some really cool stuff today. Yeah, like Mhm. Uh, mm yeah, I'm feeling bad about these guys. As you should. Scooch that guy in a little more and that guy in a little more there. Cool. Um, what's the range on that? Nine. Cool. Um, let's see, Alaris Terminators. That's six, I don't know why I keep thinking they've got five. Um, Prey for it's going to go there. Yeah. Trajan. Well, hi Trajan, boy. Uh, don't think you have a space that's outside of an inch. Yeah. I'm not really too worried for it. Let's see. If I can get him in, I can't get him in. If I can't, I can't. There you go. Um, Earth are gonna cluster up a little more there. Do they have enough range? Could they have enough range? They could have enough range. Get a little extra spicy in the mix. Hmm. Scooch a tiny bit. Little more. Point one. There you go, baby. All right. Now, think. I have moved my movement, and psychic my psychic. Um, I'm gonna yeah. shoot my shooting. The um, pyrothite guard. I'll start with them first. Okay. Into your troops. Hitting on twos. Rerolling one. No. Uh, but they all hit anyway. Um, strength 8, so wounding on 2s. So 3 wounds, minus 4 for d6. Three wounds. I know none of that matters to you other than the 3 wounds part, though. <laughs> uh, 4 ups. Uh, one goes through. Cool. Oh, kill the boy. Kill this one. Alright. Trajan is... Uh, he's gonna go... Ah, pew, 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 in the same something, unit. Something Trajan would do. Um, Shoots four shoots and uh, strength five hits uh, wounds five wounds. Um, so those are five or hang on. He's got a beefier axe than normal. Oh, you, AP doesn't matter and damage doesn't matter. Uh, four up. Three go through. Um. Then the Alaris Terminators are going to shoot their goodness into this guy. Okay. Um. Only the front two are within rapid fire or grenade range. So I'm going to do their two grenades Star first. They're D3, 12 inches. Oh, they um, have the minus six thing, right? Yep. 
Cool. In that case, we got five regular attacks with our axe. We roll that one because of Trajan. Yeah, that's cool. I'm so just, that one misses. There's a lot going on with the army, so I'm Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> um, so nice let me double check this. Well. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, let me double check the strength of this. So this is four, so we would need uh, Six. um sixes. So we got one, minus one for two damage. Four up. We're good. Cool, cool. Then um, these Virtus Praetors over here, these bikes are going to shoot your Skyweavers, your other bikes. Okay. Um, so uh, two shots, hitting on twos. Hitting on threes. Uh, sorry, no, hitting on threes, my bad. Um, but now wounding on twos. Um, because strength eight, the Skyweavers are a tough four, right? Correct. Okay, and we they are not vehicles, right? They're bikes? Correct. Okay, so I don't reroll that one wound. So I got one wound. They're good. Cool, cool. Then uh, Helios is going to shoot the troops in the woods there. Uh, so, pew, pew. Yep. He got a three up. Rerolling them ones. And strength four, so uh, threes. There. there was a one in there. Um, was there? Okay. I don't know which one it was, so just deleting any of them. Eight wounds, no AP. Single damage. Uh, three die. Cool, cool. Uh, two, three. Then I'm gonna spend a CP, and I'm gonna shoot my Venatari into the same unit. Um, the they troops. are. Pardon? Yeah, into the into the troops. Um, so they are uh, getting. How many shots is that? So they're only two. So that's twelve shots. Okay. What's the range on them? Uh, Eighteen inches. Okay. I was just curious. So. Hitting on threes, rerolling those ones, and sixes explode. So, boom, 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 and those two sixes explode. Uh, strength six, so wounding on twos. So, eight minus twos for two. Wouldn't you know what? I just happen to have eight right there. Four ups. Oh, no, they're dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then, um... That sucks. Charging the Alaris Terminators. Oh, yeah, charge phase. Um, charging the Alaris Terminators into the uh, troop players. Uh, what, I got two of them there? Yeah, you're good. Cool. Uh, charge roll. Got a five. Did you get a one? You're good. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, shit, that's Trajan. It's gonna be a close game, it looks like. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Mm. Quick game too. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised by how fast it's been going. Um, I'm not going to charge Trajan in there. I'm going to charge my bikes into your bikes though. Okay. So I need a 9 over there. Got a 12. Oof. Um, Praetor, uh, sorry, um, Venatari Custodians into those bikes mm -hmm. with an 8. And Mr. Helios into the same unit of bikes with a three. That's all he needs. Um, cool. Then uh, I think that's all my charging. So fight phase. Let's um, let's get the juicy stuff out of the way first. I think. Um, so I'm going to start with um, with Helios. And I know he's not the juiciest, but he is the most compelling target to take, of course. So, uh, hitting on twos, rerolling ones, everything hit. Um, strength is uh, five and six against the bikes, so don't reroll those ones. So, uh, let's do this the interceptor lance first. Wait, I do reroll those ones because he charged this turn. That's true. Okay, so five minus threes for d3. So, which am I doing first? Um, the bikes, uh, the interceptor lance. So the, the red one first, right? N no, the, the, the five. Okay. okay, that's... Sorry, I didn't know which one was which. Yeah, no problem. Right, so, four ups. Uh, two go through. Okay, and that's gonna be first one, three damage. 
And second one, one damage. I think that's just one bike. Uh, and then the Misericordia is for a single damage. Um, at minus two, but I don't think that matters to you. And then... Wait, hang on, does that mean these guys can't attack? How does the rule work on that? You can consolidate in, and if you can get within an inch, then you okay. can attack. Cool. Oh yeah, because uh, they charge, that's right. Um, are you spending a CP to interrupt? I really should. Um, oh, sorry, two CP, my, my bad. Right. Um, are you going anywhere with uh, Helios before I move? Oh shit, yeah, that's um that's a totally valid point. Uh unstoppable destroyer. How far can he go? He can go six inches. So Helios is gonna shimmy slide back here. Cool. Alright, so then yes, I will spend my two CP. You um you can't move away from an enemy model. I'm not getting further away. Okay. I mean we can still attack through the wall though. Right. I'm just trying to get as many attacks as I can into them. Looks like makes sense go. into the Venatari. Um. So I'm gonna hold off on that one actually. All right. So. Not within an inch of the wall. So am I? I am. Ah, oh, damn it! I can't undo the thing. <laughs> uh, this guy, we were sitting right on top of it. It's okay. No big deal. We just gotta leave it. Yeah. So I'll just go right here. That's fine. That's probably just gonna happen anyways. Mm -hmm. All right. So the sky weavers have three attacks each. Right, yeah. So it's nine attacks going into your Minotauri. On Breeze. Just one, good. Uh, these are plus one, so strength four, so I need fives. Mm -hmm. Wow, absolutely nothing. That's crazy. Oops. All right, let me do this real quick. Alright, bring him um, Bring him, uh, bikes in. And... Scooching him around a little bit uh, there. No, never mind, I paid CP or I'm out of the CP. Um, so they have, uh, four attacks each, so hitting on twos. Yep. No rerolling of those ones. And we are, um, strength six, so we need threes. Rerolling... Oh, never mind. We got six, um... Minus three is D3. Right, four ups. Uh, three go through. All right. Uh, first is one. Second. Second one kills him. Is cool. And the last one, get in the box, is for two. Okay. And then scooching in a little closer yet still. Uh, then I'll start attacking with the, um, the Venatari, so... We have, uh, uh, objective secured, right? They do, yeah. Uh, everything on my list does. Um, except oh, the sisters, the actually, sisters. but they're dead now. It's like, wait a second, um, there's something that doesn't get them. <laughs> yeah, the sisters don't. Um, so hitting on twos, uh, all those hit. Uh, then strength is six, so wounding on threes. Uh, so we got six minus twos for one. Four ups. One goes through, wow. Cool, cool. Let's make up for my earlier bad rolls. <clears throat> uh, One's all you need. Yep. Right, then, um, turn me time. Yep. The Alaris are getting five attacks each. So uh, that's we'll 25. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Um and then um and then for 
They're uh, just gonna... Four offs are unpredictable, but... Yeah, but they're not that unpredictable. <laughs> I mean, they could be, but... Math is math. Yeah. Chances are that was going to be 25 or more um, wounds. Right. Um, okay. Because you've got rerolls. Then that is my turn. Oh, let me, so. Let me do this. Hold on. I think I'm only getting two These for engage. Four ups. I'm putting them back. Okay, they're good. Okay. <laughs> two for engage, three for grind them down, nothing for intercept. Um, then uh, oh, I, I don't. My, uh, I didn't get my uh, um, engage uh, last turn. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and then morale phase for you, I think. All right. Yep. I just got the bikes. Um, yeah. I don't think they're gonna fail. Three. So on a six. I mean, this is just giving me flashbacks to last. Yeah. We're good. Okay. <laughs> oh, this very map right. even. <laughs> Take it away. It's over to you. So we have fought on this map because uh, I remember they were over here. Mm -hmm. uh, it was not a. What do you call it? Um, this mission. Right. Your Sagittarium hurt in close combat, right? Or not in close combat, but shooting. Uh, they very much hurt in shooting. Um, I, I did. I, I bracketed one of Brian's knights with. With a unit of Sagittarium in our last game, with one in one shoot phase. Right. Okay. Um, I'm just moving them here real quick to see if I can actually get this. Can you put up the uh, table quarters and the area denial? Uh, sure can. So no, you put the advance. Can't get there. You can't get over here. And I will promptly die. You still have your moment shackle, don't you? No, I've spent that already. I did that on my teleport homer to drop the Alaris Terminators in. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no. They have more movement than that. They have 24. No, they have 22. That's right. Okay. Sagittarium do have pretty... So if you're within 15 inches of them, th they they can probably shoot both those Skyweavers off with without any CP. Um, they have the disintegration beam that they can then shoot in addition to their normal profile. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to get like the last bit of points I can out of this list. Oh yeah, this is such a close game, and it's I guess real important to do that. Um, I, I still I haven't really mathed it out in my head. I don't know who's in the lead, but I've got 15 points one. still on the field. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if it's worth it to send these two over here and charge the Sagittarium mm -hmm. to try and to try and deny you points and try and because you're gonna get 15 for next turn. Well, you're gonna get yeah yeah you're gonna get 15. Plus I'm on um, four objectives, so I'd get four for data intercept sure, plus any. possibly another three for. Grind them down, I didn't get and then two to three for engage. Um, that's a good question. How does this uh, secondary work? Do we get it at the end of the game? Should, but sorry, Rob. Rob's giving me candy. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. More, please. More candy. Give me candy. He's my sugar daddy. But it's the other way around sometimes. As long as he's performing, <laughs> it is still within range of the same objective marker. So, actually, it looks like you don't get it at the end of game. Don't get what? Data intercept. Hmm. Okay. So, that means that this squad is... 
So you can just give up on um, objectives now. Yeah. Well, not entirely, but kind of. Mm-hmm. Um... All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. These guys are gonna fall back here. And they don't have OPSEC, right? Correct. I'm gonna advance this troop. Mm hmm. Uh, that's bad. What do I need? No, that's fine. So they're gonna go nine. These guys are gonna advance. Oh yeah. Um, Chester two is gonna stay there. I don't think you have anything other than these bikes I can get to this point. You have a few things I can get to this point, but uh, you still got another inch, so you're just gonna do that. Well, yeah, I've, I've got plans for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just saying, I don't think any of these guys can reach that. Nah. Not without help. Alright. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cast... Oh, wait, is that all my movement? Yes. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is try and cast the Feel No Pain. Does not go off. So we're gonna try and cast uh, the extra movement. That does go off. I'm gonna give that to these guys so they get an extra move phase. Mm hmm. Question is what I want them to go into. away. Yes, cool. Um, and we're going to give Oh boy. We're going to give this squad a plus one to their end volume. So they're at a three up. Cool. Um, then we're going to cast the Mirror of Mind spell. Need a seven. Does not go off. Um, what is the other one? I'm not super worried about that one, so he's just going to do a Smite. Super smite. Unless you got something to say about it. Um. Nah. Okay. Maybe. Who's uh, who's who's originating it? Like, uh, and who's the target? This one right here into your prey toys. Hmm. How many CP is it? Hang on. 
Why would I want to give my Dreadnought a reroll one aura in the enemy's psychic phase? What? Exactly. Reroll ones of what? So, alright. 1 CP Fortress of Willpower. On a 4 up, we are not affected. Not affected. Dang. That's the first time I've gotten a Super Smite in a long time. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't want to straight up lose a bike right now. That's fair. Alright, so I want, that's my I want you to work for it. But we're gonna go into shooting. Um, we're gonna start with... least amount of targets is the uh, troop so they're going to this one guy he's on the wall and he's got a sight to this guy not that guy you see that guy no he's not within three so never mind they're all going into there so six shots cool cool Strength eight, so threes. Oh my god. Ooh boy. So two minus four. Four ups. Failed them both, how much? Uh D6 drop so six and then five. Pew pew. Ooh. That's fancy. Mm-hmm. Um take that. So I'm gonna try something. We're gonna go with the Star Weaver into your Minotauri? Wait, I have to check something. And I may have done this wrong earlier, and if so, I'm sorry. But I have to check if he's got the fallback and shoot thing. Mm. He does not. Um, I think the last time I did it, nothing happened anyways, so... Okay. Um, I know this... Well, no. I say I know they do, but... <laughs> <laughs> Double check. They do have it. Okay. Uh, so the two Skyweavers over here into your Minotauri. Mm hmm So it's 2d6. Oh, boy. You best watch out for these <laughs> shots coming in on threes. I'm scared. Oh I'm scared. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. That was bad. <laughs> like, not played bad, just bad luck. Yeah. All right, so this, these Skyweavers are going to unleash... Um, I just want to see him, is the problem. Yeah, he can see that guy. Uh, so all 5d6 into your... The back Atari. one, I would... Mm, no, can he can't. Yeah, I was wondering if he can see without the minus one from the woods, but he can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, that's four. So I need five. Come on, all ones. Oh. So four, four, three, one, one. All right, so 18 shots on threes. That's fine. Uh, and strength four, so fives. Uh, six at minus one. Yep. All right. Three ups. All right, so we failed three of them. Uh, how much damage are they? Just one each. All right, so that is gonna kill that boy. All right. Whew, and here comes the part I'm scared about. Because I don't have any more shooting. Right. Um, what? Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with the Skyweaver into both Helios and the Venatari. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what I need. I think it's a 5 to get to Helios. Mm. 4 to get to Helios. Possibly a 4, but I don't I don't know that that's strictly true, because your base has to go around to not be in on top of the Venatari. So you can't you can't just go straight that way, you got to actually go that way a bit. I think... Yeah, because, yeah, like, here. the side of the base, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, just do a little trial. Yeah, I think a two is fine, so then a four. 
I don't know if you can make it though. That's a, uh, it's that's a pretty tough roll. The odds are stacked against you. Seven. So five. So I'm good. Um, Some Nurgle shit right there. Seven. I just learned the other day that that's not uh, the entire unit, it's per, uh, per... Per model, yeah. Oh, actually, let me put him here. Yeah. Same with saving pros. Yeah. So I need a 5 for the, uh, the troop here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Come on, baby. Come on, don't do baby. It, don't do it, don't do it. Hey! Get a 2! 5, oh, thank god. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, this is a huge gamble because this is all of my uh Obsec? Obs well not obsec, it's all my uh while we stand. Oh, that too. and as well into mm. your Venatari only. Get a nine. But this secures me the point, no matter what, unless you get rid of the entirety of this squad, which I don't think will happen, but it's possible, so. Mm -hmm. My guns are also pistols, so I mean, if they if they survive, oh, they, right, they've got because, a very likely chance. Um, let me do a thing instead of that because they had more movement. <clears throat> so they can go there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna start by activating the troops. Four, 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 four. Oh, no, I did fives. No! Not <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Double rainbow. Sorry, quadruple rainbow. Alright, so on threes. It's like Skittles. Oh my god. It uh, is strength five, so taste fours. the rainbow. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's uh, six <clears throat> and minus two. Cool. Four ups. All right, how much damage? One each. Sorry. One each. Oh, okay. Then this guy at the back dies. Totally okay with that. Uh, and then Skyweaver Green Squad. They've got three mm -hmm. attacks each, so luckily I don't have to change my dice. Threes. And then uh, these will be strength four, so I need fives. Very nice. Uh, three at minus two. Four oops. And these are two. How much damage? damage? Kills guy. Yeah. All right. So now these guys are going to dial in. They're gonna, they're gonna attack. If he's tagged, can he still use his thingy? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, no, if he's based, he can't. Okay. Then perfect. So he's he's gonna be based. Get based! I've got him based with three models, so... Five. So it's five as long as it's not based to mouth. <laughs> Bass to mouth. <laughs> Alright, um... So they've got three attacks each, so... One, two, three, four, five. I'm enjoying my rainbows. Mm -hmm. well, They're very colorful. Your friend on my wall. Uh, it threes. He's tough five, I'm assuming. Uh, six. Oh, six. Uh, it's still fives. It's a lot of sixes. Uh, so five and minus two for two each. Three oops. Fails one. How much damage? Two. Two. Yeah. All right. Five up. Feel no. Oh wait, shit. Um. Victor of the Blood Game. Uh, uh, yeah, that is what it's called, Victor of the Blood Games. He's good. Okay. His turn, yeah? Yep. Noise into them bikes. Mm -hmm. We're rolling that one because he's Helios. Cool. They all hit. Uh, what's their toughness? Four. Cool. So we got fives and sixes. They're tough enough. And that one we don't reroll, but we reroll the two. Oh, no, we were not. We did not charge. We were charged. So exactly. three. That's why I didn't want to leave him, because I was like, if he <clears throat> chargers, he's a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, four ups. Alright, one goes through. Cool. This guy dies. Kills a boy. Is it flat three damage? Or he just... Well, well no, but he had he had one wound left. Okay. So it's um, D3. Gotcha. He, he was going to die um, no matter what. Morale phase. Uh, nothing. Uh, but I do get... to engage. Cool. Uh, um, did I get my data intercept at the beginning of the turn? Do you remember? Don't recall. If I lose by one, let me know what happened. Um, I, yeah, I've got these guys down here, this guy down here. And yeah, here. you you did, I think, but I could be wrong. Did what? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think you did, but I could be completely wrong oh, on that. About, yeah, it, it'll be all right. Thanos will tell us. Um, <laughs> I uh whenever you're ready, pass it over. Oh yeah. There you go. Alright. Um oh yeah, shit. So first off, data intercept again uh three. One, two, three. <clears throat> then gonna advance my Sagittarium guard. Mm -hmm. Six. So that is super juicy. You guys are fast. Uh, Helios is going to fall back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to advance my... Oh wait, actually, I don't want these guys so far back. So far out. I want them. Good. Perfect. I did actually have enough space the way I was the first time. Um, I'm going to advance my Alaris Terminators. He's with them. The six inch oh. bubble. Mm. They're on the wood slightly. They couldn't make it. That's the case. So a large terminator's got a four. Um, is that going to get me ten inches past there? Oh, barely. Uh, oh wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I was about to say that's the front. Yeah. Then terminators are. Then I'm just gonna move them, not advance them. If oh no, I already had to advance them to get the roll, so never mind. Uh, um, they can't charge, so they're just gonna chill. They're gonna wiggle around slightly and chill. Um, our Earthlight Guard yeah. are going to move. Hello. <laughs> Way to go. Nailed it. Um, Trajan is going to advance. Come on, Trajan. Suck, Trajan. Um, ah, whatevs. That's cool enough. Movement, done. Psychic, done. Shooting. Um, Perithite Guard into your Star Weaver. Hidden mm -hmm. on That's twos? Long. No, hidden on threes. So one, and wounding on twos. Nothing. Cool. Uh, then 
Helios fell back. Uh, Sagittarium Guard are going to shoot everything they've got into these guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend one CP, I guess, and six is auto wound. So uh, the non disintegration beam, beam profile first is uh, just a normal caliber, uh, caliber bolt. So hitting on threes. Uh, so that, and then strength five. So threes. So three wounds. One rainbow. Four ups. Yeah, only one goes through. Cool. And then the disintegration beam. Hitting on threes again. Nothing. Cool. 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 That's it. Alright. Um so I gain um fifteen. Fifteen, yep. And uh, two for engage. And I don't gain grind them down because you killed two of my units and I killed none of yours. Alright, I get 15 for while we stand. Man, that was a that was a really um, fun game. It wasn't super fast, but it, it felt like there was a good flow, a lot of back and forth, and, and while we didn't trade a lot of big stuff, mm -hmm. pretty even trades on both sides. Yeah, I feel like I should have been a little more aggressive, uh, specifically I think so. turn four. Um, it's just so scary to go in here, guys. Like, <laughs> It's funny, because I feel the same way. I I'm playing a very aggressive list, but I played it so, so defensively. I wasn't I wasn't sure it would be able to play that way, but it, it did okay. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I really don't know exactly where I could have edged out the... Well, I definitely could have on, um, I don't know, because I, I could have put the boat here, uh, turn one. That would have gotten yeah. like five extra points, but then I'd have been down a boat, most likely, to your shooting over here. I think your best bet would have been sweep some of these guys around and, like, get your bikes to just shoot through these woods. And it wouldn't be super effective, but it'd be way more effective than anything I could shoot back at you. Mm -hmm. um, and then, since my Sagittarium were stuck down here, I'd have to I'd have to completely move them off the point to have effective shooting. Right. So if you if you'd done that on maybe turn two, I probably would have pivoted my sisters and put them back here, forcing my Sagittarium out, and you would have had a, an easier chance chewing up my Sag and Venatari, I think. Um, chewing up your Sag. <laughs> chewing that Sag. Um, I don't know. I, th I think I think that could have could have worked if you if you put a couple of guys sort of midfield without necessarily putting them on an objective. You you would have kind of forced me to to work around you a bit more. I think. Yeah, it's just because uh, this map and this deployment every time though. Well, Harle Harlequins are really hard to balance when to attack and when to defend and i i, I, mm -hmm. I just over defended this time and yeah it's basically all it came down to yeah I'd, I'd agree with that and i uh i was overly cautious i think i maybe could have pushed a little harder but i i'm just so used to the pain you bring <laughs> if uh if you had pushed any harder you would have been separated more like you would have lost all your yeah. trajan rerolls and everything and i would have been able to yeah. chew through with several troops so. What I think I'm starting to figure out with Custodes is I don't need to try to spread out and take the fight to you. I just need to take my shit and sit on my half or my half plus one objectives and, and yeah. just try and outlive you, basically. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think that's going to be my strategy for the for the team tourney. Well, otherwise, I was really happy with this, uh, with this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Really it was real fun. Um, despite me not getting very good uh objectives I don't know. neither did i honestly i scored what like 5 10 5 and 15 like <laughs> neither of us were really scoring objectives but uh primaries that well yeah man even on the secondaries it was so close yeah yeah it was really just that that one last turn i think it was literally no it literally came down to the last turn of uh primaries literally because you got second turn yeah yeah no i agree with you i think you might you might have been able to if you kept these guys back here you might have been able to screen helios out from getting onto this objective and then i wouldn't have been able to move the sag out but that didn't even matter in the end they didn't they didn't well, I was just so do anything that, 
Like, Helios, I've just seen just take out units. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I he's just... he's swingy. He's not he's not actually that great, but every now and again he punches above his belt because it's just it dice just rolls. happens against me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so having these guys all be my while we stand, I was very worried that they'd just go out there and then Helios would just murder them all. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it was a real weird choice for you, but. Ew. When you're playing that reserved playstyle, it actually worked out really well for you. Yeah, I was uh, I was happy with the way it worked out. Um, and I think it could work against other people other than Custodes, but Custodes it's the best against because you just can't get <laughs> Yeah. And all, all my debuffs are just like, you can't kill them. Um, I'm wondering, I think, I think for you maybe it came down to Data Intercept as well. And I wonder if maybe there was something... Something else you could have taken? The only other ones that, that I... Raise the banners, maybe, but... That was the only one I considered. I would have gotten... I would have raised this one turn one. Uh, so I would have gotten one on turn two. And then I would have raised... Yeah, you probably would have gotten these two. Because yeah, I, I, I don't... Get those until turn three, so I would have gotten one, two... No, but if that was the playstyle you were going for, if you had raised the banners, you, you probably would have pushed out into that wing a little further. And then I would not have pushed into that wing, uh, you know, as, as a consequence. Right. But um, I, mean, I, I couldn't get to these objectives without two turns of movement. Yeah. Same here. That's this map and this this um, deployment style is, is real rough. I was surprised when I got that 12-inch uh, movement on that one unit of guard turn yeah. one. Yeah, you had great advances on that first turn. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what really scared me. I was like, oh shit, he's already on the point. It's like... I... <laughs> That was a real big part of it. My, my I've been original, thinking up. Uh, sorry, go ahead. My original plan was to the I had the guy over here. I was gonna drop a unit and hide behind this obstacle here, <clears> like a hay cart. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's not obscuring. Well, not the hay cart. I was gonna have him like trail behind. Is what it was gonna do. Um, so I would have had this objective, but turn one, you were here. You would have made yeah. it, and then you'd have been like right on the edge of it, and then been able to charge me, and the entire thing would have been moved. So Pr pretty just, much, yeah. I was like, okay, well, there goes an entire turn on that point. <laughs> Man, that was a fun one. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I'm still scared of Harlequins. Like, I think Custodes are a really natural foil for them, but they're they're still so scary yeah, regardless. Your, uh, your high toughness is really what does it, because we yeah the highest we have is strength five, and uh, that's four is yay. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't matter when you're going against vehicles, but when it's not a vehicle, oof. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the strength five isn't even that. That's on the troop. That's the troop's weapons. Oh yeah, yeah no, I, 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 oh yeah, but they had some strength eight shit too, didn't they? They had the fusion. What was called the fusion? Um, yeah. But those some of them did. The yellow unit didn't though. They did. They had it. Um, oh, okay. That's what killed the uh, the bikes over here. One of them, I thought, didn't have them, but maybe I'm misremembering. Um, no, all my troops had them. But, uh, you know, I think I think that one troop master um, that you extended in here, I, I reckon maybe if if instead of extending him in here, if you um, like if you if you kind of shuffled him this way or, or slid him down this way, I think that might have turned the tide here. Yeah, I just I felt this overwhelming force over here, and I had to. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. I had to kind of lance it a little bit. Yeah, um, I get that. We're we're a lot like Death Guard though. Without if we're not playing the bikes and the Venatari and other other stuff in Deep Strike, mm -hmm. then we're we're slow moving. And once these guys drop in from Deep Strike, pretty much not going any, anywhere. Yeah, it was the bikes I was mainly worried about. But your yeah. bikes were over here with everything else, so it's like, okay, do I risk? one troop in a boat and try and get rid of the bikes, mm -hmm. which I got rid of three of them, so I was happy with that. You did pretty good with the bikes. And I, I honestly, I feel, despite the fact that I lost them, um, I feel the bikes did the best in that game that, that I've ever had them actually run. They didn't even do a lot of shooting, but they didn't die and they they were a viable presence on the board. Um, a threat. That's... Yeah. And they didn't die till turn five, and that's the first time I've had them live that long. Yeah. Hmm.
I've still got a lot to learn with, uh, with Harlequins. They're really hard to play. Yeah, they're um, high um, high floor, high ceiling army. It's it's basically there's a really thin line of attack and defense, <laughs> and if you go on either side, you lose. But if you hit that sweet point right there, the hammer comes yep. down, and you just there's not much that can stop it. Yeah, it's like what is it that that glass thing? Like if you drop a ball of glass in in like water and it like leaves a trail behind it, you basically end up with this weird long super like sperm looking piece of glass. But basically the thing is indestructible. Like the the glass ball at the tip of it will be indestructible as long as you don't shatter the tail slightly. Like if you flick the tail even slightly, it gets really br brittle and shatters. Uh, I don't know if you have any idea what I'm talking about. I sound like I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> but it sounds nifty. It's like it's a, it's a like thing we learned about in science. I remember. Anyway, you're very strong if you're if if you're coming exactly in your element. Right. And once you deviate from it, it's like what? Yeah. Then yeah, then you go from being like the Joker to being Bozo the Clown. <laughs> Speaking right, of, uh... have you ever looked at these Alaris Terminators' faces? You gotta zoom super in on this. <laughs> oh, they got that like, oh my god, I just shat in my power armor. Look. <laughs> they, look they look like some Stallone. They look like Stallone. Yeah, and he's like squeezing, squeezing one out, pinching yeah. out a loop right now, <laughs> and he's angry about it. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for the game, man, yeah. and, uh, and uh, bye, uh, internet. Hey everyone, this is Platonic D, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching our video. We do this to show everyone that your hobbies don't have to be on a professional level for you to enjoy them or share them. We strive to bring positivity to our hobbies and help everyone be more comfortable with just playing and falling into what you enjoy most. Like, comment, and subscribe and all that other jazz in our social media outlets that you can find down below in the description. Hope you join us again next time. And a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. You guys help us out in a major way and we cannot thank you enough. Thanks. Weebs! What is wrong with this guy?